Hey guys, what's up? So, I wasn't going to make this video at first because I was like, you know what? I'll get people are free to say whatever they want to say. And, you know, it's a free will, whatever. But I have to now because after doing research and stuff, I can't let this, you know, this heinous act stand. <laughs> screw attack is screwing up the calculations on the fights with Dragon Ball Z characters, especially the two fights with Goku and the most recent and most controversial one in my book, the one with Majin Buu and Kirby, okay? Alright, I just watched the freaking fight video and I'll have it play in the background so you can see this whole thing and also please go to their website and watch the fight because even though I have this little clip here just in case for you to see it they did make you video originally and it's their, you know, credit goes to them for making this awesome fighting video even though I disagree with the results it's still a spectacle to be watched and, and to be enjoyed so please go visit ScrewAttack and look at it yourself I'll put the link below but anyways these two fights right um, in the fight between Majin Buu and Kirby they have Kirby winning a fight right and their argument was that pretty much Kirby is stronger more durable than Buu is and also, Boo is an experienced fight in someone who goes faster than any speed of light, right? That is all bullshit. And, it, and to get into that side of it, I have, to, I have to go back to the Superman versus Goku fight, right? Where Goku lost. In the calculations they had, right? I'm going to show you exactly what they say. And you t like you look at the calculations right because they just flash it in front of your eyes so take a look at this all right everybody got a chance to see the mathematics they did here right you see the this is this and this is that whatever but look at the the forms and look at how they did the math the math is totally incorrect so yes if you look at uh the top speed for goku you'll see that his top speed in kilometers is two billion five hundred and seventy four million kilometers per hour right but screw attack if they did that calculations based on the, what they set up earlier on the calculations are totally incorrect the if you look at the base form right going off of the base form you multiply according to their own charts you multiply his full power super saiyan form base form multiplied by 50 right that's where they get the initial markings which is for Super Saiyan 1 right there right that's the initial calculation now for Super Saiyan 2 you multiply that by 2 right so the power of Super Saiyan 1 multiplied by the power of 2 right so that's how you get a second calculation for Super Saiyan 3 you multiply Super Saiyan 2 power by 4 and that's what this is based off of screw attacks own calculations right if you multiply by 4 they shorted Goku's speed by two digits two zeros so Goku is nowhere as fast in their video as he should be right and again this is off of their website I'm not even like trying to fabricate anything right now this is what they said so, so, and Super Saiyan 4 is supposed to be Super Saiyan 3's power times 10. He would be astronomically faster than anything that exists out there right now. So, again, this is Screw Attack's own calculations. That being said, I'm just doing the little logic I saw on a, a, a show once. If uh, they want to argue that Kirby is faster than Majin Buu, but yet... Um, someone as Goku had a hard time keeping up with Boo himself and as a matter of fact um, Goku can even beat Boo and had to get all kind of help to beat him then logic would dictate that uh, Kirby is nowhere in fact faster than Boo as a matter of fact Boo is in a, a whole speed class by himself if he could beat someone as Goku in speed with that being said like there's no way there's no comparison to speeds there's no way they could sit here and, and logically argue that goku is slower than superman and that kirby would beat boo due to his fact the fact that he moves faster than speed of light that's 
nonsense, it's utter nonsense. And this is their own logic, so please, I want them to enlighten us, the public here, hey, where did they get their mats from? Because I'm using their mats and they're shorting us zeros and stuff because of what, you think people weren't gonna check this? And I'm, cut, I'm cutting out Super Saiyan 4 because me personally, I don't count, e, I don't count GT as part of the whole Dragon Ball Z series because whatever, I don't like GT, right? But anyways, just going straight to Super Saiyan 3, right? Goku is already like faster than Superman based on the calculations. And it is driving me insane how they uh, like they try to belittle the Dragon Ball Z characters. And I think personally it's an attack to try to, I guess, drive up views or whatever. I don't know, right? But as someone told me today, and it probably makes a lot of sense, it's easier to make videos that causes controversy and causes people like me to be upset. <laughs> so that way we have something to talk about and they're doing their job. But anyways, the whole point is based on these facts, there's no way you could come and logically say that first off, Goku would have lost to Superman in speed and also Boo, the person who Goku can even beat on his own would lose to a child like being, right? They even went ahead and said that uh, Kirby is, is considered to be a baby and he doesn't even like have, he's not matured, right? Into whatever he's going to be, right? Boo is ruthless and a killer. They had Fat Boo and Kid Boo, right? If everybody knows the stages of Boo, which a lot of these guys and fanboys who are watching for Kirby probably don't know because whatever, just write off Dragon Ball Z. If they want to use that version of Boo, everybody knows the st next stage after the Fat Boo would be Super Boo, right? And again, as I said in a video before, if Boo sensed that Kirby was in any way a threat, he would have absorbed him, right? There would have not been any kind of struggle where he, for some reason, couldn't hit Kirby. That's BS. It is totally blowing my mind that they're going to try to sell this as, hey, this is what will actually happen in a real battle. And it also like blows my mind that I was so pissed off at the video between Superman and Goku that I failed to realize this one tidbit. It's only, but you know what? It's only because of today, after watching this video, I was like, you know what? They're talking crap because if Goku moves faster than the speed of light, I know Goku moves faster than the speed of light because you can watch some of the anime series and see, hey, it, by the time I flick my light switch on and off, he's already moving on with Cell on the arena fighting. So obviously he moves faster than the speed of light. So just how fast he moves, let's calculate it. So I went, watched the video, and I was like, wait a minute. Is either my college algebra sucks or they fricked up the calculations. And guess what? They fricked up the calculations. In the fight, they use Kid Buu fighting against Kirby. Kid Buu has no regard for planets and stuff, right? And he, when he, the first blast alone would have destroyed the entire planet, right? Kirby was surviving on space, we all know that. But what I'm saying is they pretty much dial back what Kid Buu would have done. Another thing too, Kirby could absorb most stuff oh, with, through his mouth. He could suck in most things. One thing Kirby cannot absorb, even in his mega form, is pure energy. It's been repeated in the series and in the games. He would not be able to absorb a blast from Majin Buu like that, even if it was to just be a, a plant destroyer, because of the type of energy it is. If it was like a bomb or any type of physical, Hard material, yes, but any type of energy, like energy, he has to avoid, he cannot absorb it. It's, oh my God. <laughs> you know, this is crazy. And to those who believe that Screw Attack hit, hit everything right on the money, whatever. It's good to have people who believe in your your a view and whatever but to people who know this shit is jacked up i will say to screw attack make a fair battle using the correct calculations that you guys created i'm going off of your formula right and you know what i'm not even going to argue the formula because the formula it does make sense if you want to go off of what you said with gravity and stuff okay let's play your game right if you're going to do that use the right calculations have a rematch between Goku and Superman. Not with the God form and stuff. Keep, you can even keep that out. 
Because if you have to pull in um, God form for Goku, you have to pull in for God form for Superman. We don't know the limits of each one, right? But I will say to you, remake a video and this time remake it with the right calculations for Goku. And let's see what really happens. Counting Kaoken, counting all the multiplications and stuff. Because you guys done fucked it up. Sorry. You guys done fudged it up. Fudged it up big time. You guys did this. So if you guys want to, to stand around and prance your formula and your calculations for all these fights and stuff, right? Do it like Deadpool and Deathstroke. I don't know why that escaped me, God. But that fight was legit, right? And I just want to see, like, because I read the comics and stuff for both characters, so I want to see how he was going to do it. But you guys did it based on the comics, which is respectable. I just think you guys have a personal bias against anime characters. Even your freaking commercial that I'm not going to show because I ain't advertising for Funimation, but even your little commercial there showed that you have a bias towards anime characters. So what I'm saying to you is if you truly believe Goku is such a piece of crap against Superman or you truly believe Majin Buu would be such a piece of crap against Kirby, do actual video with the actual calculations and also really you really think that Kobe could beat Majin Buu? Clearly you do, because you made the video, so um, it's a real talk about question to you guys out there who were like, yeah, they think so, that's why I made the video. Duh, yeah, I know that. Really? I mean, oh my god. Anyways, again, I'm just arguing your facts with your logic, so don't kill the messenger. This is what you posted online. And people there were like, oh, this must be true, yeah! Fuck those people, think, look at the mathematics, like, it doesn't add up, really? Even if I were Ryu and Scorpion, oh my god, <sighs> screw, screw attack, screw them, have a good day, and Merry Christmas, motherfucker. <laughs>